It's the Lawrence Welk Show, celebrating more than 50 years on television. Sit back and enjoy the show selected especially for public television. Hello, I'm Mary Lou Metzger. Welcome to the Lawrence Welk Show. The program you're about to see is called Caribbean Cruise and was taped in 1980. On this show, we'll see a special dance number by Bobby and Elaine that cruises to the love boat theme. Jack Immel and I dance to By the Sea, and Guy and Ralna croon away with I Can't Stop Loving You. At the end of our show, I have a very special visit with Welk star Arthur Duncan, who lets us in on some of his tap dancing techniques and tells us some very interesting stories about his fascinating career. So stay with us. And now, here's the maestro himself, Lawrence Welk. for a special musical cruise, which I know you will all enjoy. Ready, gentlemen? One, two, three. Oh. off to a good start and it looks like we'll have clear sailing all the way our wonderful country gal Ava Barber has a song that's quite fitting for this special show it's titled Love Boat Let's take a trip on the love boat where we can keep all our dreams afloat We'll see the places where the poets wrote about paradise. Why don't we take ourselves a scenic cruise across the waters where the skies are blue? We'll be together, just me and you, on our tropical line. You can be my captain, and I'll be We'll sail away on the sea of love Just like the islanders do And we will leave our troubled waters far behind And we'll find a place in the sun That 
It's yours and mine. Let's take a trip on a love boat where we can keep all our dreams afloat. We'll see the places where the poets wrote about paradise. Why don't we take ourselves a scenic cruise across the waters where the skies are blue? We'll be together, just me and you. On our tropical life, we'll be together, just me and you. On our tropical life. Cruise passengers always look forward to visiting this popular Mexican resort. And here's the band with Acapulco. One and two and four. Lawrence Welk and the Champagne Music Makers feeling very, very much at home in Acapulco. Here's a pretty song with the romantic flavor of the South Seas. And let's enjoy it with our handsome baritone, Tom Netherton. Sway my heart's in time. I 
I've learned to care in Seattle The skies may turn from blue to gray My love will live forever and a day Cruise is a brand new experience for these four likable youngsters. And they're having a wonderful time. Let's join the Aldrich sisters and the Atwell twins. Slow down, you move too fast. You got to make the morning last just kicking down the cobblestones Looking for fun and feeling groovy Hello, lamppost What you knowing? I've come to watch your flowers growing Ain't you got no rhymes for me? do 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 Feeling groovy to do, no promises to keep. I'm dappled and drowsy and ready to sleep. Let the morning time drop all its petals on me. Life, I love you, all is groovy. and the Atwell tonight say they really are groovy. A very popular TV show inspired this next dance by Bobby Burgess and Elaine Niverson. Here they are with an exciting routine to the theme of the love boat.
What a joy to have this wonderful couple with us. Jim Turner adds a little calypso touch to our cruise. We find Jim and his friends rehearsing in the carousel lounge. Mary Ann, oh Mary Ann, oh won't you marry me? We can have a bamboo hut, brandy in the tea. Leave your fat old mama home, she never will say yes. If mama don't know now, she can guess, oh my yes, all day. Fish come to her feet. In her heart is love that I'm the only mortal man who's allowed to kiss by Mary and don't rush me now all day. Problem, and we'll let you folks in on it. Uh, attention, please, everybody. I've got a hot, fresh pot of coffee here. Anybody for coffee? Uh, no. 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 No? Well, let me tell you something. Way down among Brazilians, coffee beans grow by the billions, so they've got to find those extra cups to fill. They've got an awful lot of coffee in Brazil. You can't get cherry soda cause they've got to fill their quota And the way things are, I guess they never will They've got an awful lot of coffee in Brazil No tea or tomato juice And you see no potato juice For the planters down in Santa's all say no, no, no a politician's daughter was accused of drinking water and was fined a great big $50 bill. They've got an awful lot of coffee in Brazil and no tea or tomato juice. And you'll see no potato juice for the planters down in Santa's all say no, no, no. So you add to the local color, serving coffee with a crawler. Dunphy doesn't take a lot of skill. They've got an awful lot of coffee. Oh, an awful lot of coffee. They've got an awful lot of coffee in Brussels. Coffee here, right here, right here, Ken. Kenny, right here, we'd like a cup of coffee right here. Here we are, right here. Ken Dillo, quite a salesman. Next, a pretty setting, a pretty song, and the lovely voice of Kathy Sullivan. How much do I love you? I'll tell you no lie. How deep is the ocean? How high is the sky? How many times a day do I think of you? How many roses are sprinkled with dew? How far 
Thank you so much. And now the beautiful clarinet sound of Henry Cuesta. And a song in keeping with the mood of our show, Stranger on the Shore. One and two. I love watching Lawrence Welk leading the orchestra, and especially when Henry Cuesta plays Stranger on the Shore. Be sure to stay with us at the end of the show for a fascinating visit with legendary dancer Arthur Duncan. And now, back to the show. The fine movie, Umbrellas of Cherbourg, is now a big hit Broadway musical. We're bringing you a concert medley of songs from this great show, with George Cates conducting.
George and boys, and that was a Bob Ballard arrangement. Back to our musical cruise and a little fun with Mary Lou Metzger and Jack Emmel. Good morning. Oh, you must be the ship's lifeguard. Ah, uh, that's right. Never fear when Jack is here. By the sea, by the sea, by the beautiful sea. You and me, you and me, oh, how happy we'll be. When each wave comes a-rollin' in. We will sink or swim, then, then we'll, we'll laugh, laugh and talk, talk about the weather. Over and under, and then up for air. Ma is rich, Pa is rich, so now what do we care? I love to be beside your side, beside the sea, beside the seaside. By the beautiful to Lisbon Antigua. George, take it away.
Ladies and gentlemen, as your cruise director, I'm very happy to announce we have a wonderful show lined up for you this evening. And I am very proud to present one of the finest singing acts, one of the finest singing teams on the high seas. In fact, their low notes are pretty good, too. Let's enjoy Guy and Rona. <laughs> <laughs> oh. And now, here's a very special friend of mine who really dances up a storm. Don't be alarmed, folks. Just, just a figure of speech. Anyway, that Titanic tapper... Oh, I did it again. Here's Arthur Duncan. Go get him, Art.
Roger. Beautiful. Whoa, ho, ho. Boy, you can tell he's really in ship shape, isn't he? Huh? Well, maybe you can't tell. This next artist may bring back memories of that Brazilian bombshell, Carmen Miranda. It's our own beautiful Ana Connie. <laughs> Bachero, bongocero que se va, bongocero que se va. El cumba, 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 chero. El bongo, 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 bongocero. ¿Por qué bongocero? Porque te que va sonando el cumba, chero, bongocero que se va, bongocero que se va. Y suena así el tambor, piriquitiqui, bum, bum, ba. Y vuelve. Bum bum ba ba bum 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 ba chero. El bongo 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 cero. Tricky tricky va sonando el cumba chero bongo cero que se va. Bongo cero que se va. Chale. Cumba chero. Bongo cero. Tricky tricky va sonando el cumba chero bongo cero que se va. It's time for some dance music, and here's a good old favorite, The Isle of Capri, featuring Bob Havens, Bob Smale, Russ Klein, and all the champagne music makers. Are you ready, gentlemen? One and two and...
Bonsoir. Looks like our cruise passengers are getting ready to go ashore. Let's join the gang. so much for joining us on our Caribbean cruise. Our special guest has entertained audiences all over the world, and Lawrence Welk said he was keeping the art of tap dancing alive. We couldn't agree more. Please welcome Arthur Duncan. Arthur, it's wonderful to have you here. Thank you. It's good to be here. This was a cruise show. Did you ever entertain on the ships? Yes, I did. Uh, for a period of time, I guess for a two-year period, I uh, entertained on the cruise ships. Southern. Traveled many, many places and some great experiences. Now, I understand originally tap dancing wasn't your idea. You were sort of drafted to this. Exactly. I was, <laughs> I got to tell you this. I was in junior high school and uh, two fellows danced. So there was to be a, a school program and they needed a third. Well, I didn't know how to dance, didn't know much more than to run, to walk, or, you know, with your feet. They said, well, if you can walk, you can dance. So I resisted, but they won out. And I learned to tap dance through the other members of, of, of the trio. And I kind of liked it, so I started taking tap dance lessons. Now, you're from a big family. Oh, yeah. Oh, very big. How many children? Thirteen. Thirteen children? Eight boys and five girls in the family. Oh, my gosh. Did anyone else go into show business? I was the only one. They said one is enough in the family. <laughs> <laughs> we couldn't stand two. <laughs> oh, my gosh. So you must have had great teachers. I did. I, I, I must tell you, I had great, great teachers. And they were all rhythm-type dancers. And uh, it gave me a good foundation. The first one was Jimmy Muley. And uh, the next one was Willie Covan, and the third and last at that time was uh, Nick Castle. Oh, so you yeah. developed a strong technique. Yeah, yeah. Well, they, they really stressed uh, good, hear the beat, dance around the beat, but maintain that beat in your mind. I think everyone knows the name Nick Castle. Yes. Now, you had some pretty good mentors. In addition to Nick Castle, I understand Henry Mancini? Yes, well, uh, uh, Nick kind of took me over, and Nick had worked with uh, Henry Mancini on Orchestra Wives, so he asked Henry and Mancini to step in and kind of coach me and whatnot in the vocal department, and uh, of course ended up uh, Nick and uh, Henry were co-managers of me at the time. And uh, so I had a, some pretty darn good uh, training. So you had good friendship there as well? Yes, yes. How exciting. So Henry Mancini must have done some of your arrangements too. He certainly did, and I use some of them today. In fact, I used the same formula that Nick Castle uh, put together in uh, doing a, a nightclub act or an act that you presented on uh, on stage or, or in arenas and whatnot. But the formula works, so I 
I stick to it. I, I've changed the numbers, but I've taken something out, but added something more current, perhaps. Now, you fair. truly are an international star. You've traveled all over the world. Well, I've, yes, I, I've been lucky enough to travel to many, many countries. First of all, I went to Australia, and I have appeared there. Um, the first time I went, uh, well, I've, I went several times, and the first time I went, I, I worked with... Uh, Billy Eckstein. Then I went back and I worked with Johnny Mathis and, and uh, uh, Jimmy Rogers. In fact, I went over the second time with Jimmy Rogers and they asked me to stay on at the television station. So I worked television over there and did theaters throughout Australia. You were offered your own show at one point, weren't you? Yes, I was. And uh, at, uh, I was quite young then and, and uh, I thought it would have been just too big a task for me at that time, not having the experience to handle a show of that nature, a musical show which was probably based around the Johnny Carson type mm. of show, and it, a lot of responsibility would have fallen on me, so I said, well, this is more than I can handle. So I passed on it, and, and uh, I was working pretty regularly at the time, so I, I didn't lose much. <laughs> so you met Ken Delo in Australia, In Australia, you? yes. What ended up taking you to the Welk Show? I came back to, to the States in um, the end of 1963. And uh, I knew Sam Lutz, and I knew he had managed uh, uh, Lawrence Welk. So I went to him and I said, gee, I'd love to do a, a show. I've been the, the Lawrence Welk show. I've been out of the country for, you know, quite some time, and I, I want to get back into no show business here. So he said, well, Arthur, it's not that type of show, but let me think about it, and I'll talk to Lawrence. So about three or four months later, he calls me and said Lawrence wanted to meet me. So I uh, set up uh, a meeting, and uh, it was at the Palladium at the little storefront there that they used to rehearse in. And I went out and uh, had an audition for him, and I didn't hear anything for another three or four months. And finally, Sam Lutz called me, and he says, Lawrence wants to use you on, uh, on one of the shows as a guest. So I went on that and that, and then three or four months passed, <laughs> and, and then I did another show, and I... They asked if I would go to uh, Lake Tahoe with them, and I did. And the last night of the show, Lawrence calls me back on the stage, and he says, Arthur, he says, the people seem to like you, so we would like to make you a permanent member of the Lawrence Wilk musical family. Oh. And that's how he hired was me. Was that a thrill? It certainly was. But great exposure with the Lawrence Wilk show. Well, since we stopped taping weekly shows, you've gone on to do a million other things. My well, one and only? Uh, yes, I was quite lucky with Tommy Toon, and uh, gosh, I did uh, a film called Tap with uh, Gregory Hines and Sammy Davis. And, uh, and that I, kind of completed the circle with Nick Castle, didn't it? Yes, yes, because uh, Nick Castle's son wrote uh, Tap in honor of his father, and I was so pleased to, to uh, you know, be in that because Nick was a great man, and he did so much for in motion pictures in the area. He was one of the great, great choreographers of motion pictures, like films like Royal Wedding, Summer Stock, Biggies. And he helped so many people along the way. Now, you've been getting a lot of awards lately. Mm -hmm. I understand. Yeah, Living uh, legend? Uh, oh, yes. <laughs> that right here in o Oklahoma City. Uh, at the uh, Oklahoma City University and I received the Living Legend Award from them and I must say it was a, a, a great, great honor and I was never so impressed with the quality of the dancers and singers and their music and dance department that they have at the university. It's first class. If you come down to the river
Arthur Duncan is your artistic father. He is a creator of what you are learning and a promoter of what you will do with the rest of your life. Well, you're offering clinics around the country right now, too, so that you're passing your knowledge on to the next generation of tappers. Well, I'm very pleased with that, you know, you, you, you got to spread it around and uh, there are some new dancers coming up that are just incredible but I, I've been very fortunate to do the Los Angeles Tap Festival when the first one and I've been to New York for the to receive an award called the Flowbird Award which is given to uh, 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 people who are involved in choreography performing or, or directing in, in show business and that sort of opened the door to to these other things that have been happening for me. Not to mention a three-page spread in Dance Magazine. Well, I, I, was, I was overwhelmed with that. <laughs> and I, I take it everywhere I go. <laughs> Arthur, you are keeping tap dancing alive. And we are so honored that you're part of this musical family. Well, I, am, I must tell you, it's, it's my pleasure and an honor to be associated with so many wonderful people in the Lawrence Welk fam musical family. Thank you so much for also being part of this wonderful family of public television. And now, until we meet again, as Lawrence always said, keep a song in your heart. <laughs>